desire is that the prerequisites to move to the body bite suit are achieved quickly and smoothly. Once the grip is ideal, stable and forward behavior is established, Franco moves to the body bite suit for the bulk of the professional canine's future interactions. Because the goal for a professional canine is reliable deployment performance in a variety of environments, the transition to the suit is necessary. The suit moves the dog inside to core areas of the body, reduces avoidance through good mechanics, repetition and ideal communication, and focuses the dog on the man through a variety of suit types and scenarios. The, so the body bite suit is designed for bicep to center chest, tricep to center back. I see all bites happening on the forearm. I'll never understand it. Why you would wear 28 pounds of equipment to take a forearm bite, that absolutely makes no sense at all. If you're going to take a forearm bite, put on a hidden sleeve. Put on a, an exposed sleeve, but don't put on a body bite suit. Now I understand if you're doing tactics and you're inside a car and a dog is diving through the window, Okay, that's the reason for the sleeve on the suit. Outside of that, there is no reason for that sleeve. You should virtually be able to take that lower part of that sleeve and cut off a bite suit because all placement should be in the core parts of the body. So yeah, the most common mistake I see with body bite suits um, are placement. The vast majority of guys are still taking arm bites on a, on a body bite suit. Make sure you watch them through the bite. Through proper use of the body bite suit, Franco believes the helper will achieve competence in behavioral manipulation while attention to presentations fades through precise drills and careful work on the back tie. Good, good mark. We also want to see the progression of social domination and forward behavior expressed as the dog consistently works in fighting drive. Because the body bite suit is what we've defined as an environmental change, some adjustment to Franco's drive triangle will be required through good helper work to again achieve balance. The goal is to transition to tactical scenarios and changes of environment that simulate real-world deployment in an effort to neutralize the dog to challenges he may face that we can't foresee. This will make the dog a powerful asset. Through fighting drive, the helper can work the dog in tactical scenarios and changes of environment that simulate real-world challenges. So the first thing we're going to do this morning is probably one of the more popular moves you're going to end up doing, and that's that back bite. Because helper safety can't be overstated, we'll revisit safety and now direct our attention toward bite suit specific issues. Muscle memory remains critical for safety reasons, but becomes complicated here for multiple reasons. These reasons nearly all fall under the umbrella of energy out, check the bite. We can easily see the dog capture the bite on the sleeve and adjust our proximity to the dog using the back tie. This allows us to adjust the bite bar angle for ideal precise presentation and placement. We now need to consider the sight picture when using the body bite suit. When the dog is on the rear of the suit on a back bite, the helper can't necessarily see the grip but rather must feel it. The way the dog is contacting the helper, efforts to rebite, forward behavior, reactions to handler approach, and other environmental changes. The helper must still create a lane to avoid impacts and manage not only the dog, but now a 25 to 30 pound suit. Ultimately, progression won't move forward until the grip is correct, so some discussion here is required. When we talk about grip, it is truly a double-edged sword. It's one, the helper recognizing what a poor grip is or bad behavior is during grip phases. At the same time, it's poor, can it be attributed to poor equipment? So this is where we carry, the, 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 once again, the, the decoy carries a big responsibility to identify and say, this piece of equipment isn't appropriate for this particular dog. It's not going to work. Whether it's because